how global warming can mean harsher winter weather. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Suknanen, and this is your Daily Pitch. People across the country swapped their winter coats for short sleeves this week after a major thaw out, with temperatures swinging as much as 70 degrees in some areas. That's a big change considering some places saw temperatures dip as low as 56 below zero. The deep freeze grounded flights, closed schools, and led some leaders to declare states of emergency across the Midwest. On social media, some questioned what the dangerous cold might mean for global warming. The president even sending this tweet about global warming saying, come back fast, we need you. Experts say there's no doubt the earth is warming, so how can deep freezes still cause temperatures to dip so low? Though parts of the US were experiencing record-breaking cold last week, the rest of the planet was experiencing something very different. Dr. Jennifer Francis is a senior scientist studying climate change at the Woods Hole Research Center. And if you were to look at a map of the differences from normal in the temperature around the globe last week when the cold snap hit the Midwest, you'd see that there were really only two places on the whole globe that were colder than average. One being over the upper Midwest in the Great Lakes area and the other being in northern Siberia. Everywhere else on the planet, for the most part, was warmer than average. She explained rising global temperatures causes pressure changes in the atmosphere. That can break up what's called the polar vortex, plunging a mass of cold air that normally hovers above the Arctic into the U.S. While natural shifts in climate are normal, a report by NASA found 97% or more of actively publishing climate scientists agree that warming trends are the result of human activity. If left unchecked, scientists agree that extreme weather events will happen much more often. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon for your next Daily Pitch.